Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Imagination Mega Park. Now, in this episode, I want to work on a transport ride for the park, and it will be a transport ride that fitted, visits all eight themed areas of the park. You can see I marked out some squares, which is where the stations for the ride will be. Now, um, I don't want to make it something boring like a miniature railroad or a monorail. No, I think it will be really cool to have it look like there are some cars that are uh, attached to balloons that are flying around the map, um, passing by all these stations. And for every themed area, there will be a big tower, uh, which will have the station for this ride. Now, um, OpenRC2 uh, no longer has a limit of maximum four uh, stations per ride, so we can easily have eight stations uh, for this ride. Anyway, um, I will first make the track for this ride and then after that uh, I will try to spawn the vehicles for it. So uh, yeah, let's begin! Alright, I've now created the track for the ride. Um, now, as you can see, it's actually two tracks above each other, and that's um, because with some shoestring, I actually want um, the balloon shaped vehicles to be above the vehicles which the guests will actually sit in. Now, um, I will need to use the ride vehicle editor plugin for this quite heavily. And I hope it uh, cooperates today. I've got a beta version from uh, from Bussy, the creator of the plugin. So uh, yeah, I hope it all works correctly because it would uh, save me a lot of work. But yeah, um, you will probably see pretty soon um, what I'm planning to accomplish with this. Alright, that was a bit of a grind, but uh, I got it done. So basically all these cars now have one suspended monorail vehicle and a lower rail. And above it are two of these uh, balloons, or uh, blimps, uh, which look like they're carrying the suspended monorail car. And I made it so that uh, guests can only sit in this vehicle. And um, yeah, just so that these uh, trains don't all clip through each other in the station, I also added an invisible... Um, car ride vehicle in front and one in the back a little bit in front and behind and that makes sure that they don't uh, all just uh, <laughs> shrink into each other for lack of a better term but yeah um, I think this uh, looks pretty cool um, well obviously uh, these cars will be spaced out a, a bit more eventually um, this is just uh, what I did um, for a test and of course also to space them out a bit more the track will be invisible. Um, now, um, with the track done and all the vehicles done, 
it's now time to create uh, uh, yeah, at least one station for this ride, I think. And uh, I think we can already create one in this desert here. Um, in the end, um, I want to have a bandit town over here around this tower. And for all these areas, there will be a big tower somewhere in the middle. It will be a defining uh, point of, or a center point of every um, uh, themed area. I think it will uh, look really nice uh, once these uh, balloons are flying around from uh, station to station. Anyway, um, yeah, um, I will just start working on the first tower here and see if I can get something good uh, going for this bandit town. Alright, I've now made a tower, the first tower of the park for this uh, particular ride. Anyway, um, yeah, we uh, have, uh, I've also put an entertainer up here. Um, I named him after one of my patrons. So uh, yeah, Paul, if you're uh, watching this video, uh, I hope you enjoy your spot in the park and thanks for supporting me. Anyway, um, yeah, something which I still want to do in this episode is actually connect up um, all these uh, ride stations to uh, to the path system and then I can already open the ride and then we uh, already have a functioning transport system for the park and that's something which I'm pretty excited for so yeah um, let's just uh, quickly connect up uh, all these rides uh, to the path here All these eight stations have now been connected to the main path and that means uh, we can now finally open this ride so uh, let's quickly open it there we go oh, still called lift one um, I also uh, move down the entrances and exits uh, of the ride a little bit everywhere uh, because of uh, the way these vehicles spawned they're a bit a little bit lower than the entrance uh, yeah, I don't want to get all technical in this episode, but uh, yeah, I, I had to move it down a little bit or, or else it would just look uh, silly. Uh, and for the rest, I just copied and pasted these parts with the Scenery Manager plugin, which uh, saves me a lot of time. Now, these parts are very temporary and this is for a lot of these themes. It's probably not the kind of path that I will end up using uh, in these themes. But uh, that'll be something to figure out later. 
But yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to uh, already get this uh, transport ride started. Now, <laughs> most of the transport rides in parks uh, that you'll find actually are supposed to help people get around. But uh, I guess uh, having <laughs> such a huge stair leading towards the platform uh, will make the guests pretty tired before they <laughs> finally reach it. But yeah, it is, uh, it is what it is. Probably these huge stairs at the entrance also don't help. Oh well, it's a fantasy park anyway. Oh yeah, um, this may have not been a very long episode, but it did take oh, a long time to build all of this. Uh, especially tinkering with this ride uh, actually took a lot of time, uh, but I'm happy to uh, get it done. Now, if you have a cool name for the transport ride, uh, let me know. Maybe something with uh, balloons or uh, um, Zeppelin in the name. Um, yeah, just uh, let me know what you can think of in the comments. I really like alliterations, by the way. So, uh, yeah, just so you know. Anyway, um, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a like. It would really help out my channel. And... I'll see you again in the next one. See you later.